Hi guys, it's Ksenia. Welcome back to my channel. So before we get into this video, bear with me. I am sick. I got sick out of nowhere. I don't even know what I have going on, but out of nowhere, my throat just started to hurt. And I literally haven't talked the past two days because it's been so messed up right over here. And I do have like thyroid issues. I have Hashimoto's and I feel like every time I get sick, especially when it's like a throat ache, that just makes it so much worse. Like I get like a flare up. So if I sound a little off or I'm trying to like keep it low in this video, that is why. But also if I'm being completely honest, I'm also not really doing very good mentally. And that's just me being very real. I know that this is a freaking perfume video, like just get to the point. But personally, the way that I see my channel is I wanna keep it a lot more personable because yes, I can come on here and talk to you about perfumes and say nothing about myself. But I feel like that's what Google is. If you want to know quick information about any perfume, you can hop onto Google and search anything you want. You don't have to come and watch a 20, 30 minute video about perfumes, you know what I mean? I feel like I just haven't really been, not that I haven't been myself, but I haven't really shared much of myself on my channel and I really want to do that. So if you don't want to hear anything of what I'm about to say, you can skip to this timestamp and just go straight to the dupes. But because this has been kind of like heavy on my heart, I thought I would talk about it. I contemplated whether I even wanted to mention this in this video, but ultimately decided to because, you know, maybe somebody out there is feeling the same way that I am. So I have talked about before in previous videos about how I do struggle with anxiety, depression, I've taken medications in the past. I'm currently not on any medication, but I always go through kind of like cycles and stages of, you know, times where I feel really, really bad and then I'm doing a little bit better and then I kind of go back to it. It's it's a roller coaster, you know? And if I'm gonna be honest, lately I have not been doing well. And there's always something in particular that makes me not do well. And I don't really know if I wanna get into that because it's a little bit more personal. Everybody that knows me knows what that is. It's not anything bad, but it's something that I'm always like thinking about. And it's honestly like the number one cause of my anxiety and my depression. And maybe I'll talk about it one day, but I just don't think that I will anytime soon. Just cause, I don't know, I don't even know how to really even articulate what I'm, what I wanna say. But anyways, I feel like my anxiety and my depression and my overthinking gets especially bad whenever I am sick like this. Because normally on my day to day basis, I do things that I distract myself with. I go to the gym, that's like my number one where I just like release all my emotions. And when I'm sick and I can't do any of that and I'm just sitting in my thoughts, that's when it gets really bad. And so, one thing that I would urge you if you are somebody that is like me and you struggle with anxiety or depression or you're going through hard times, I know that it sounds so stupid and I feel like in the moment you might be like, no, I don't feel like doing anything, but it is so important. Go on a walk, go outside, let the sun hit your skin. Something as simple as that can actually help you. Yeah, it's not gonna make you feel tremendously better. It's not. Cause when you're down in the dumps, nothing really can. And I feel like only when you truly experience that, you definitely know that feeling. But do little things like that. Find something that makes you happy. If you have a hobby that you really love, do that. Just any little thing, whether it seems so small and insignificant, it actually does help. And the past few days, because I have not been feeling good and I haven't really been able to you know, work or go to the gym because physically I haven't been able to, I've been sick, like I said. I did start to paint. Let me show you guys something that I've been working on. I did this little painting. Yesterday, I just put on a movie and I just painted this Sailor Moon painting. I'm not the greatest painter. I never really paint. I never paint. Painting is definitely not my strong suit. I'm more into drawing. I love drawing, but um, I really tr been trying to get into painting because I do think painting is like a relaxing thing. So I guess the point of what I'm saying is just find little things that will help you. Even the smallest things, try to find those things. Like I said, go outside for a walk, sit in your balcony, absorb some vitamin D. The sun actually is proven to help boost your mood. If you can't do that, try a hobby that you like to do. Or maybe if you don't think that you have any hobbies, try a new hobby. Something that will keep your mind occupied. And eventually, you know, day by day, you're gonna notice that you're gonna feel better and Life is all about highs and lows. And in order to appreciate the highs, you gotta get through the lows. With all that being said, I'm sorry for this super long intro, but it was heavy on my heart. And if any of you guys are going through what I am going through right now, I just wanna let you know, first of all, you're not alone. And second of all, do something that will make yourself feel better. As hard as it may be, because I know when you're not feeling good, 
even taking a shower seems like a journey but just get yourself there and you're gonna feel so much better after you do it so with all that being said let's get into the point of this video so today i am going to be sharing with you guys a bunch of perfume dupes i have not made a video like this in a minute and i know you guys enjoy these videos and i love making them so that's what we're doing today this video is not sponsored these are not dupes by any like dupe companies or anything like that these are just affordable perfume dupes for a lot more high-end designer niche options so i have six dupes to share with you guys in this video i will also be doing a part two to this video with six more options i just didn't want to make like a huge huge long video so stay tuned for that video coming up i'm gonna try to space them out just because i don't want to do videos like back to back so i'll throw in some other videos in between but another dupes video will be coming out very shortly so make sure that you stay tuned for that i'm gonna tell you this right now almost all of these fragrances are like 100 similar to the originals so there's like little to no difference between them and the higher end option. So I think you guys are gonna really enjoy this video. Please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and turn post notifications on and let's get started with these dupes. Okay, so the first dupe I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna show you the more high end option first and then I'll show you the dupe next. So the first perfume I'm duping is Giorgio Armani C. This is like a classic scent. It's been out for a minute and this smells so good to me. This is like a really rich, luxe, sexy, sensual, sort of date night type of scent. It's very captivating and it's a scent that will definitely get you compliments. To me, this smells like the color red. It's like you're wearing, you know, maybe a simple outfit with like a bold red lip type of look or maybe an all red outfit, something like that. It has this like strong wine scent to it. That was literally my first impression of this perfume. It literally smells like red wine and then it starts to get more like perfumey. It has notes of cassis, may rose, freesia, and then you get base notes of vanilla, patchouli, woody notes, and ambroxan. It's like a sweet, vanilla-y type of like green scent. It has a lot of floral in it, but it's nicely balanced by the sweeter notes and this deep woody vibe that it has in the dry down. So yeah, this is such a good scent. And the affordable version that I have of that is a scent I've never talked about. I have yet to haul this perfume in a video, but it is, I'm gonna say like 99% similar. This is White Diamonds in Rouge by elizabeth taylor now hear me out on this fragrance i really heavily dislike white diamonds by elizabeth taylor like the original white diamonds it's like a heavy white floral scent and i just don't like i'm not a white floral person at all but this en rouge version is so good it literally smells like sea i feel like this one is slightly a bit more floral and i think the rosy scent in this slightly stands out more, but even so, it's still not in a super mature way. It's a little bit like peppery because it does have pink pepper in it, but it's also accompanied by raspberries, so it has like a sweet berry vibe. You still get vanilla in the dry down, so I feel like the notes are pretty similar in both of these fragrances, and they just both will give you like the exact same vibe. They're like florally a touch of like this greenness to them they dry down with this like vanilla they have some patchouli which makes both of them last a really long time but not in an overpowering it doesn't overshadow the fragrance overall they're amazing super sexy date night fragrances this is just such an amazing option if you're looking for a dupe to Giorgio Armani C on a budget you could get this for like 20 bucks as opposed to over 100 next up this is Miracle by Lancome. This has become one of my newest, most favorite fragrances ever. I never thought I would like a fragrance like this because it is pre predominantly a floral scent, but I will forever be just super in love with this fragrance because it reminds me of Greece. I was introduced to this fragrance, not for the very first time because I didn't know of the fragrance like i knew about it i just hadn't ever smelled it before but i was like officially introduced to it when i went to greece this summer and my cousin was wearing it my aunt was wearing it and i was asking them like what are the most like popular perfumes in greece right now and they told me that this was one of them so immediately i had to pick it up and i don't know if it's because of the nostalgia that it gives me but i am so obsessed with this fragrance i feel like even just past that, I just love how it smells. It's a really, really feminine scent. It literally smells like spring. It's a springtime scent, period. Like, if there was a springtime perfume, this is 
the cover of spring it's a little bit peppery because it does have pink pepper oh my god it smells so good I said that this has pink pepper but it actually has straight up pepper in it so it's straight up spicy and you also get lychee you get freesia magnolia ginger so it's extra spicy and an orange and jasmine very very feminine and it ends off on like a musky ambery touch and the dupe when i say dupe these two are so spot on like 99.9% .9 similar and that is just me by paris hilton i'm not gonna spray this perfume out because this perfume is currently in my mercari so when i did my previous declutter videos this was one of the fragrances that i decluttered not because i didn't love it but because i have miracle and i'm just trying to downsize a little bit and just trying to not keep duplicates of the same scent so for that reason i decided to part ways with this so if you guys do want to get this it is currently available in my mercari link will be in my description box but that's besides the point the actual fragrance itself smells literally 99.9% .9 similar to miracle again it's very feminine floral they both give off like this light pink vibes like even from the bottles obviously they're really entirely different bottles but they both have like this pink vibe going on they're super pretty feminine effervescent type of scent this also has pink pepper you get raspberry in here you get a little bit of rose ends off on like a woody musky note once again this one also has a little bit of vanilla so it is like maybe a touch sweeter but that's really the only difference if any at all these are just spot on so if you want miracle by lancome on a budget go for just me by paris hilton next up i'm gonna dupe one of my all-time favorite fragrances this is valentino donna born in roma we all know how good this is i recently just talked about the brand new flanker valentino born in roma in which is also super super good i did a whole video on that if you're interested in seeing that i will link it up in the cards but i literally have this little one fluid ounce i have a 1.7 fluid ounce i have the intense version which is pretty similar just a little bit different from these i'm obsessed with the scents to say the least it gets me trillions of compliments it's just one of those scents that is a major crowd pleaser scent and everybody will appreciate smelling this on you because you're just gonna smell amazing but it also gives off like this rich, intense bourbon vanilla vibe. The bourbon vanilla in here is probably like the number one note that a lot of people really gravitate to in this fragrance because it's just so rich and vanilla-y, but it's like a little bit more special because it has that boozy touch. Then another thing that I majorly love in this is the fact that it has black currant because I freaking love black currant. It also has pink pepper. I feel like pink pepper is a common theme within most of these fragrances. I just really love pink pepper. I love a little bit of spice. It's not as like dominant in this as... For example, like the Miracle by Lancome is a lot more spicy. This one is not. And this is just way sweeter overall. This is not a fresh fragrance at all. It's like bourbon vanilla basically straight up more than anything. But also some jasmine intertwined to it. And it's like very creamy. And the dupe that I have for this fragrance, take this with a grain of salt because this is not one that I would call 99% similar. But it's about 90% similar. It comes very, very close. It comes closer than any perfume I have. Or have ever smelled as far as a dupe to this perfume so that is electric fantasy by britney spears i feel like this is a pretty new-ish flanker to the fantasy line and the first thing that i ever thought of when i first smelled this was that it reminded me of born in roma i literally said that when i first hauled this perfume because it has that same sort of sweet creamy vibe especially when it dries down when this first opens up you might be like, oh, that doesn't really smell that similar, but let it dry down and then it gets creamier and it kind of starts to become that bourbon vanilla scent that Born in Roma is. This also has pink pepper and it also has passion fruit. So that's what this one starts off with instead of the black currants. But the openings are pretty similar. But definitely where these two kind of become very similar is definitely once this one dries down because you get that creaminess. There's not an actual vanilla note into this, but funny enough, this does dry down with benzoin. And that's actually what this guy dries down with. The intense version also dries down with benzoin. It doesn't dry down with the vanilla that the original does so i feel like this fragrance kind of falls somewhere in between <laughs> these two like the intense and the original 
which are pretty similar to begin with. So it's definitely in the family. So if you are looking for a much cheaper option to Born in Roma, then go for Electric Fantasy. It's a celebrity perfume, so you could probably find this for like 20 bucks. Right. Next up, this is a fragrance that I don't currently own and I am going to be duping Versace's Bright Crystal. I have never owned Bright Crystal. I'm pretty sure I haven't. My mom used to have that a long time ago. She used to wear it all the time. It was like one of her go-to scents. She likes like fresher, more feminine, florally type of scents and that is literally the definition of Bright Crystal. It's like a very fresh, citrusy, aquatic, floral scent and it is a pretty scent. I've just never owned it because I don't know, I don't gravitate towards those scents to begin with, like super, super fresh aquatic scents. I love more like aromatic type of citrusy fresh scents, if that makes sense. I don't hate the scent, I definitely like it. I think it's a really, really pretty scent. It's just a little bit generic in my opinion and I like stronger scents overall. But I know a lot of people really, really love Bright Crystals, so I'm gonna give you guys a much, much, much more affordable version that in my opinion, I actually think kind of smells a little bit better. It smells very similar, but a little bit better. Bear with me on the name of this because it literally has the longest name of a perfume ever. This is by Lacoste and it is the Eau de Lacoste L1212 Pour L Eau Fresh perfume. Even the look of it is kind of similar to Bright Crystal. I mean, not really. It's just that they're both pink. This smells so good. It actually smells better to me than what I remember Bright Crystal smelling like. And it's actually crazy because if you look at the notes of Bright Crystal and L12 um, and the Lacoste one, they have such similar notes if you look at them side by side. Like sure, the sequence of the notes is not exactly the same, but let's just take a look over here. So the Lacoste one has water notes, whereas Bright Crystal has ice. So again, water notes. And then in the Lacoste one, you get grapefruit, whereas in uh, Bright Crystal, you get yuzu and you get pomegranate, whereas the Lacoste one has pink pepper. They both have magnolia, which I feel like is a pretty specific floral. Not every floral perfume has magnolia, so the fact that they both do obviously says something to why they smell similar. And then they both have musk. So they do share a lot, a lot of similarity, even in like the note breakdown. But even just beyond that, the way these two smell is so similar. They're in the same type of family. They're both like fresh, aquatic, floral scents. I would literally say that they're about 99% similar but I honestly kind of prefer this one. I actually really like wearing this to the gym because it is a very inoffensive fresh scent so if you want to smell nice and fresh and pretty to go to the gym go for this guy. So the last perfume that I have to dupe in this video is Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Jo Malone. I came so close to buying that perfume when I was smelling a bunch of Jo Malone fragrances. I was in between Wood Sage and Sea Salt and Peony and Blush Suede, but I went for Peony and Blush Suede just because it was a little bit sweeter, it gave me a little bit more, I felt like it was a little stronger, and I also felt like it lasted a little bit more. So I ultimately went for that one, but I still really, 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 really remember loving Wood Sage and Sea Salt. And the dupe that I have, I have literally never smelled a fragrance that came close to Wood Sage and Sea Salt until I smelled this. So these are the finery fragrances. You can get these at Target. I did an entire video talking about every single one of the finery perfumes and about which perfumes are similar to and all of that. If you want to see that entire video, I will link it up in the cards. But this perfume in specific has become one of my favorites. I've made a little dent, as you can see. I love wearing this perfume. I seriously need to get the body spray. I hope they still have like body sprays and any of these perfumes left because I remember they were flying out the shelves. This smells incredible and I actually feel like this smells better than what I remember Wood Sage and Sea Salt. To me, this smells 10 times stronger. The only, I guess, downside of this, which is pretty similar to Wood Sage and Sea Salt, is that it doesn't last very, very long. It actually lasts more than Wood Sage and Sea Salt, considering its price point, especially in comparison to the Jo Malone fragrance, because those are like 155, and this was literally 25 or 29. Actually, I think it might have been 29. Still, it's a fraction of the cost of the Jo Malone fragrances, but this one for me lasts about, I would say about four hours. If you really overspray and you really maybe layer up with the body spray, I imagine it could probably last even more. But just wearing it alone, I get about four hours of this. And I feel like with Wood Sage and Sea Salt, I didn't even get like two hours. So it's a little bit stronger. It's a very aromatic, 
salty aquatic scents i love just the aromatic scent that this has i just realized i didn't even say the name of this this is called before the rainbow the notes of this and wood sage and sea salt are pretty similar this one has a lot less notes than wood sage and sea salt like the notes in here are oak moss salt and bergamot whereas in wood sage and sea salt you get sea salt sage grapefruit embret and seaweed so it has a little bit more but they're like pretty much like very very similar notes but yeah crazy enough i kind of like this better than wood sage and sea salt when i left wood sage and sea salt behind whenever i bought peony and blood suede i was regretful not that i had not picked the right option but i was just like oh my god that was so good like it's definitely one that i'm gonna get and now after trying this and honestly kind of liking this more because i just feel like it's brighter there's something about it that i just i love more it's like a little bit stronger and it's brighter that's the best word that i have for it but after having this i honestly don't care at all about buying wood sage and sea salt anymore because this is amazing and it's even better bottom line i highly recommend before the rainbow even if you don't even care about the fact that it's a dupe it is such a good freaking fragrance so that is it for this video i definitely need to stop talking because i feel like i'm losing my voice and i'm like straining it the more that i'm talking but i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments how are you guys doing? We all go through things and it's nice to know that other people are going through the same sometimes. Not because it's nice to know that other people are going through sh but it does make us feel less alone and it makes us feel a little bit more normal. That is it for me today. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.